Good morning everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna wash a dirty car. So since I've gotten this car, I don't think it's ever been this dirty. I mean, it's mainly like water stains and so on. But if you know me, you know that I do like to keep my car clean. And if you know anything about Mercedes and their brake pads, you would know that they are great. However, they create enormous amounts of brake dust. As you can see, the whole trunk, everything, the car looks more white than black. Now, if you've been following the channel for a little while, you know that I already did a car wash video titled How to Properly Wash and Dry Your Car Without Touching It. However, in today's video, we're not going to use the foam cannon that I used in that video because I've somehow managed to misplace this foam cannon. It's gone. And a lot of people asked from the previous video what brand I used pressure washer. I forgot to mention that, and it's nothing special. I bought it at Walmart. The brand is Hyper Tough. I'd never heard about it before. Um, however, it works pretty good. It was like, I can't remember what it cost. It was like 80 bucks or something. And it works just fine. But since the foam cannon is gone, we're gonna wash the car the old fashioned way. So I have two buckets, they're from Adams Polishes. And no, I'm not sponsored by Adams. A lot of people thought that from the previous video, even though I said I wasn't. I wish I was and I can get all free stuff, but I'm not. However, I like their stuff, so that's what I use. So both these buckets have a grit guard. Basically what this does is you wipe your wash mitt off of you know any dirt that's on it and it stays at the bottom of the bucket, doesn't get mixed into the water. I have one in this bucket as well. Anything I can do to avoid those annoying swirl marks. So what we're gonna start doing first is spraying it off with the pressure washer. All right, and now for these wheels. Just watch how much brake dust comes off these wheels. the car is pretty much hosed off let's start cleaning it so as I showed you guys I have prepared here already I got a bucket with a microfiber uh, wash sponge here and then uh, Adams car polishes car shampoo so I'm gonna stick the pressure washer in here get it real foamy all right so I got both buckets ready here one with water and soap and then one with just water so that we can clean out the sponge when it gets dirty. So I'm just gonna start here with the roof of the car. Now one thing that I always do when I'm using a wash mitt on the car is that I go in one specific pattern, just back and forth. I don't go in a circular motion because if there is something in the wash sponge that will create swirl marks in your car. And the reason why you wanna go in one direction is because it's easier to buff these swirl marks out if they are in one direction versus being like a spiral shaped scratch. Now I'm gonna take the wash mitt, I'm gonna dip it in here, and then I'm rubbing it against the grit guard at the bottom of the bucket. So if there was any dirt on the sponge, it comes off and stays at the bottom of the bucket. All right, so I'm gonna keep going here and I usually do one part at a time. Now I'm gonna do the driver's door part here. Start from top to bottom. Make sure I get the dirt off the mitt. And then we keep going. All right, so pretty much the whole car is soaked in. We only got the wheels left. 
and I'm gonna use a sponge like this. Just something cheap that I bought at Walmart. Cost about a dollar. I use them one time, throw them away. Now it's time to rinse it off. All right, so the car is pretty much hosed off. And what I usually do now is that I, I'll pull the car out of the driveway and then I'll pull it back in nose first. And that is to basically get the wheels rotated. I feel like there's always a spot that I miss because these wheels have several spokes and that they are, you know, a little tricky to clean sometimes. And then we check them out, but they look pretty good, I gotta say. Yeah, see right there? I don't know if the camera will catch that, but yeah, see, I missed here. So I'm gonna redo that, and then uh, we're gonna dry it. Now regarding the buckets here, we did pretty good. So there's a little dirt left here that was stuck in the uh, grit guard after I poured the water out. But all in all, not that bad, so that it's good to know that there wasn't too much dirt stuck on the car. I mean, it was more like water spots and that kind of thing. But what we're gonna do now is dry the car off. Now in the previous video that I made, that was a touchless wash and drying video. But today we are gonna be using a microfiber towel. So what I have here is just a soft microfiber towel, nothing, you know, special brand or anything. I think I bought this at Walmart. And we have one from Adam's Polishes. Also very soft microfiber towel. Now since it is cloudy out today, it's a good thing because you don't want a wet car sitting out in the sun. That's pretty self-explanatory. So what we're going to do now is start right away and get the worst part of the water off. And then we will be using the Adams Polishes Sidekick Blaster. This thing is awesome for these spots in between here and in between the side mirror, the tail lights, and so on. But first, we'll start with the towel. All right, so I'm going to start with the roof. And usually, I mean, I just wipe it off normally same motion not a circular motion and i don't apply very much pressure of course we had some planes in my videos like always as i was saying i don't really apply that much pressure when i'm drying the car off in case there is any kind of rock or any kind of dirt that's stuck in the paint that i've missed i don't force it into the paint All right, so the whole car is pretty much dried off now, or it is dried off with the towel. But you still get these annoying streaks coming from here, here, this trim piece here, and always out of the trunk as well. All those annoying little spots. So that's where this thing comes into play. So from my previous video, I did say that this is not big enough to dry a whole car. I mean, you can, but it will take way too long. So that's why in this video we did it the old fashioned way and used a towel to dry the car off. Again, you can get the master blaster or use a leaf blower. I probably got 500 comments on the last video saying that, you know, you don't have to go buy a master blaster from Adams Polishes, you can buy a leaf blower. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I like this product right here. So we're going to use this for these annoying little spots. So then, at least on my car here, we have this rubber like draining pipe thing here. So I always take the Sidekick Blaster and I spray air into this hole here and water will start coming out of the other side here. So after finishing that drying process in the door here, that should keep water from sipping out. 
and then we'll do inside the trunk. All right, so there we have it. She is clean and she is dry. There's no dripping of water from any annoying little creeks. I love it when this car is clean. It looks so good in black. The only thing missing now is some tire shine. There we go. Much better. I'm gonna have to take it for a spin as well. From washing the car, we got some surface rust on the rotors. All right, so right when we were done, <laughs> it started raining, so I had to pull the car in the garage. It was just drizzling a little bit here. Now it kind of stopped, but I'm afraid to pull the car out in case it starts raining again. But there you have it. That's how I clean my baby when I don't have my foam cannon that's missing. I have ordered a new one. I love using it so you can kind of uh, give the car a complete foam bath. Let it sit for a little while, just spray it off, and then you can air dry it off as well. But I did it the old-fashioned way today. Sponge and hand dry, and it looks great. But now we're on to another exciting part of the video here. If I can get my camera to sit somehow good. All right, there we are. If you remember, I've had a running contest. Where is the price? Here it is. I've had a contest, a giveaway contest. It's a giveaway of this Vantru X2 dash cam um, for my Instagram followers. So all you really needed to do to be part of this giveaway is follow me on Instagram. So. I have pulled a winner. So the winner of the Vantru X2 dash cam is Alex Lara 591 on Instagram. So if you're watching this, send me a DM with your address and I'm gonna send you this dash cam. So big congratulations to Alex Lara 591 on winning the dash cam. We're gonna have a lot more giveaways here in the future. So uh, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at autovlog. Now on to a second part of the video here, which is opening some mail. Got a package here, not really saying who it's from. Oh, what do we have here? All right, so there's no note, but there is a t-shirt. And it says, Autodometer. Let's see, there's gotta be some Instagram link or something. I don't see a note, so um, yeah, it's a nice t-shirt. I don't really know what this company is though, but um, I can at least put the t-shirt on. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Very nice t-shirt. I like the fitment and uh, the quality of it. So, uh, oh, autodometer, whoever you are, thank you so much. And then we have another letter here that is typed. It says, Dear Mike, my name is Jack. I live in Pittsburgh area as well. I always look forward to watching your amusing and informative videos when I go home, when I get home from school each day. I really enjoyed watching your review on the one and Lee Camaro. Keep up the good work. You continue to impress me with your uploads. Your C63 AMG is fine. You have really good taste in cars. Have a nice day. Sincerely, Jack M. Thank you so much, Jack M. I really appreciate it. So I think that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And congratulations to the winner of the dash cam. Again, I need you to contact me so you can give me your address so I can send you the dash cam. And also big thanks for the nice letter and the t-shirt in my PO box. If you feel like you want to send me something at any time, the PO box address is. But until next time, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.